Hi everyone and welcome back to another MHTV news program. This week we will have four more stories for you. We have stories on a new AR app, a boat that collects trash, a beginner's guide to Star Wars, and a strange stranger's strangest story. We hope you enjoy it. Now to the first story. Hi, I'm Nora with a story on a new AR app. Have you ever wondered what it was like to see a dinosaur? Well now you can. With this new app called Museum Alive, you are able to see prehistoric animals. This is possible by using AR technology. This app was created by David Attenborough. With this app, you can turn your home environment into a prehistoric history lesson. This is, app is an extension of David's 2014 documentary called Natural History Museum Alive, but on a small scale. This app uses animated 3D models to make miniature habitats that you can see on your phone. So far, this app is only available on iOS. The latest version of the app allows you to see three different extinct species, the, the, the Morphodon, the Smilodon, and the Apobinia. This app is set up like a museum. You can swipe side to side to see different species. After you select which of the animals you want to learn about, the AR mode is engaged, asking you to find a flat surface that is then transformed into the habitat. You can zoom in and out to see these animals up close. You can also tap the numerous fact boxes to learn more about the animal. The creators are planning to expand the amount of creatures in the app. One animal they are planning on adding is the dodo bird. What do you think? Will you download and try this app? You can always interact with any of our news stories by using the hashtag MHTV News. Now to the next story. Hi, I'm Kavya with your next story. Today, uh, you Star Wars beginners get a guide to the movie's content a guide to what order to watch the movies, tips for watching, and other questions. If you've ever wanted to watch Star Wars, but don't understand it or feel overwhelmed, this could be the video for you. Take a look at this. Number one, what order should I watch the Star Wars movies in? There are two popular approaches to watching Star Wars movies. We'll talk about watching Star Wars TV shows in a minute. You can either watch the movies in the order they were released, starting with A New Hope, released in 1977, and ending with The Rise of Skywalker, released in 2019, or you can watch them in their episodic or narrative order. See, after the original Star Wars trilogy, starring Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, and Harrison Ford, dominated the late 70s and early 80s, Lucasfilm doubled back for a prequel trilogy starring 90s and early aught stars like Liam Neeson, Natalie Portman, and Ewan McGregor. The most recent trilogy, the sequel trilogy starring Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver, didn't start up until 2015 and just ended in 2019. Personally, I like to watch the movies in the order they were released. So originals, then prequels, then sequels. The reason I don't go with narrative order is that the prequels aren't exactly my favorite. Excuse me, I'm in charge of security here, my lady. So starting with that can mean mission failure on my marathon. That said, the real key here is to watch whatever interests you most. So are you ready to get your Star Wars on? Now to the next story. Today I'm going to be talking about a boat that cleans the ocean. This device is called the Interceptor and is developed by an organization called the Ocean Cleanup. The Interceptor is a solar-powered floating device that can remove more than 100,000 pounds of plastic from rivers per day. The purpose of the device is to remove garbage from rivers before it reaches the ocean. The device catches waste using a floating barrier and then guides it into a conveyor belt, where it's extracted from the water. Then the garbage is put into dumpsters. The Ocean Cleanup has begun manufacturing these devices and expects the interceptors to be ready by May of this year. Here is a video to show the process of the interceptors. An interceptor is our answer to the question, how do we stop plastic from entering the oceans? Interceptor is a river cleanup system that is designed to collect plastic from rivers before it reaches the ocean. Plastic flows down the river, so the current of the river then pushes towards the barrier that guides all the floating debris towards the mouth of the interceptor itself. In the entrance, there's a conveyor belt that picks it up, that takes it out of the water. And then it distributes it with a shuttle conveyor into six different garbage dumpsters, which are located on a barge uh, within the bay of the pontoon. And once it's full, it sends a little alert to an operator on the shore. The dumpster can actually leave the system, sort of like a garbage truck. Then we take the barge to the shore, you get it through the waste management. So that's the whole, uh, the whole concept of the interceptor.
What do you think about this boat? We here at MHTV hope you enjoyed the story. You can always interact with any of our news stories by using the hashtag MHTV news. Now to the next story. Hi, I'm Shreya with your international news. Get ready for the weirdest and coolest and strange news from around the world. Up next, our friends at the BBC shared this week's most weird and wonderful news stories featuring underwater dancing, underwater art, and not so underwater robots. Yep, it's news around strangest stories of the week. Enjoy. Take a look at this. First up this week are these robots in Singapore. They're being used to bring residents their food shop in parts of the city. These robots have 3D sensors and cameras to find their way about. They can carry around 20 kilograms of shopping and they disinfect themselves after every trip. Next up, we have this Spanish free diver and dancer called Arianda Hafez, who has performed a breathtaking tango. What's a little strange about this is, it's 10 metres underwater in a pool. The idea is to transport the viewer away from their daily routine. Well, that worked. And last up, who fancies a bit of art under ice in the freezing cold? Well, if you do, then this is one for you. In Russia, an exhibition has been organised under the ice by Viktor Lyar Gushkin. And the only way to truly appreciate the art is to put on a diving sheet and swim under the ice. A bit too cold for me. We here at MHTV search the interwebs looking for those news stories that are informative, timely and strange from around the globe. You can always interact with any of our news stories by using the hashtag MHTV News. That's all the stories for this week. Don't forget to use the QR code if you'd like to contribute ideas for future stories. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.